Back here for the Rocket League OC Championship Live at Showdown Studios. This is League Player One. I am Hysterics, Yummy Cheese Man, and Jake. We're back to the OG desk. Not that there's <laughs> anything wrong with that. However, <laughs> we need to go into another series of order. And after that, I think Justice Esports are going, they can bleed. I'm we can do really this. I'm really worried for order. Mm. And especially these two teams, they feel to me like the same team, same play style and very different pedigrees. Well, you called Order a bit dumb before. Yeah. <laughs> a little mean, a little harsh, yeah. I think. But That's they do fair. both have a very chaotic play style. Yeah. Very fast to the pitch. And as quoted last week, as well, a bit random. Very, very try or very aggressive. Always thinking yeah. about attack. Both of the teams. And that means that both of them can beat anyone, but they can also have big losses like that. I think Nerves got a bit to order that mm. last series. I don't think that was their best form. They 3 0 no. yep. Avant in the qualifier. Obviously, this is more on the line, so I think that really got to them. I'm not sure what to expect now. I don't, I don't really think that they expected to get behind at any point. Especially not after yeah. game one. That banger yeah. of a goal set up by yeah. Zen, and you go, right, Order are just going to take this or maybe 3 0. Order started so strong, and then something just yep. went they, missing. They, they stopped passing at the end. Yeah, that was yeah. a big problem for them. Now they're up against Justice, and realistically, it's three high pedigree players who are very experienced. These three from Justice are the only three, or only team with three rookies on it. Yeah, it's going to be difficult to see if they can really hold up to the pressure. Mm. They performed quite well last week, though, for the qualifier. Yeah. Honestly, that was probably more nerve wracking. So, yeah. order, bleeding. Uh, see if they can really reset. I think Justice can definitely take so this. So, how, how does Justice interact with all of them? What, what makes Justice tick? They, they want to aggr they no. be very aggressive. <laughs> I know they want to be aggressive, but surely there's more to that. You watch the team and you say, what is the reason that they, they breached the gap and got into the top eight? Well, they're just better than the other teams. Oh, oh my God. God. No, no, Jake, Jake, Jake. <laughs> Thank you. Steve, Steve is a carry. Steve is sick. So Steve. is Wiss. And then UC does... This is an analyst answer, yeah. by the way. Yummy, you really got to pick I, up the game. I disagree, though, because Steve was holding back a lot last week. He wasn't play, trying to play as, as was he that though? carrier role. He was, he was a little bit. I think Steve yeah. wasn't super comfortable last week. And again, that's nerves. I think last week was very difficult for them. But you still saw Steve have those like magical moments. Game 5 to qualify where he I got that I put him in my fantasy midfield. team because of that Game 5. Really? I watched that. Yeah, <laughs> that was a bit of disbelief. But, yeah. <laughs> the, the big thing we had was Wiss did pop off. He had yep. multiple games where he scored he hat did. tricks. He did. We've got to move on because apparently we can't talk about Steve anymore. Let's <laughs> talk about predictions though, Jake. And where do you sit after Order's performance? Oh, I've I've been really unsure of where to go on mm. this. But after that last performance, I'll have to go 3-1 to Justice. Like, wow. That's a big turnaround. Yummy Cheese Man, where do you sit? I'm, I'm still going Order. I think experience just wins out, but it's very much yeah. an either way. See, after moment. watching that game five, I wanted to do Justice 3-2. I think Order yeah. started out the game strong against Avant, but Avant took it away. And I don't take any degree away from them that they played well. Yeah. They played fantastically by the end of that series, but I think Order dropped the ball and against Justice. Yeah. It's going to be a Justice 3-2. Thank you very much, Mr. Director. But <laughs> he did say 3-2, Director. Yeah, <laughs> twice. No, that's right. In the middle of a fight. But now, it's up to Justice to start this strong. They've got one series here, and as we jump on in, we say bye to Jake. He'll come back at the end. Order taking on Justice. Can Order reprieve themselves from the last series? It's experience versus complete rookies. Can Justice use that firepower, use S. Steve to get those first goals? He's moved away from the Batmobile, straight onto the Octane for relevancy there. And up to Yeetie to clear the ball out. Now for Justice Esports, can they get that strong start? This ball gets hit up in the air. Justice now committing forward. A great pass to Yeetie directly to, towards the back of the net. It'll hit the backboard, clear away, then trying to counteract the play, but what can be done here? Order. And just like a, uh, the last series win, seeing them go solo, but finally it gets up for Jules to finish off. So the setup comes through from Order in the end, and that's the start that they wanted. The same game one start, but momentum. Is it going to come through? I'm still worried for Order because in that play, it was Zen going for a solo dribble. Then it was Dumbo going for a solo dribble. If it wasn't for... Uh, Zen hitting the backboard after that, it wouldn't have led to a goal. I think Zen showed his individual power time and time again, but it's not just about Zen. He'll go wide on that one, but it was a good pass from Order. So again on the attack, important measures taken by Order to make sure they stay in control. 
Jules is going to be a big factor here as well. Yep. He has got that international experience, but he is just a player who can perform so well. There's an opportunity here for Jules again. The most of that goals in that last series, can he get a few more? Such a different team though for Jules and that adaptation. We saw last series what it was like. Jules now an opportunity, he's blocked in front of net. Again, changing his style. We'll get the clear there from Justice Esports. Let's see what they can do with it, but they need to give Yeti a bit of time. He'll go directly towards net. Jules an easy save as he clears it off to the left wing. Don't see Justice Esports hesitating at all. They're trying to play it as fast as possible and match order's pace, and that is a good start for them in this series. Especially after watching the last series, get a bit of measure on how order are today in league play one. On the defense again, order. Not the place they want to be. Zen will take it slow. Dumbo from the wall. What can he achieve? Not too much. Is the ball ready to be centered again in that goal square? But Jules, a nice touch. The second doesn't come through. Left for Zen now. Shot directly on net. And Steve will have to carry this away. Dumbo comes for the intercept. But Wiss, after a quick save, they'll get the clear once again. And that could have been a pass for Zen. Right now, Order still playing it solo, playing it by themselves. Right now against Justice Esports could be a different measure from Avant Gaming. A touch up, a sneaky one at that, but Order, no one's committed to the ball, so it goes back to defense. But a weird touch then, makes a bit of a mistake, hits the crossbar, goes down, the dunk is there, Jules. blocked away. Jules with a quick save. What a save, he just read where the shot was going. That was one in a million prediction. Just saving it out to prevent Justice Esports tying the game. But Justice putting on the pain train here. They run straight towards that net. And it's good to see the confidence out of these rookies going into such an experienced lineup. And they're finding each other on the pitch. They know where they are. They're following each other up. And even Yeetzi, who we normally see at the back, is pushing forward. So now for Justice, can they continue this attack? There's a clear there, but Order haven't done enough. That's a light touch, pass. and that's a big miss, but it goes through a big whiff. It goes wide. I cannot believe that. They set up everything. It was beautiful. That was a top 14 play, and then they just simply went wide. Well, Justice Esports, a little bit of iteration is going to oh, come no. through there. A miss again, Steve. Oh, an easy no. shot again. This one doesn't go wide, it purely misses. What is happening? It was a miss from the defense and then a miss from the attacker. Really scrappy stuff and right, right now. now. They're really lucky it hasn't cost them order, making some mistakes themselves and both teams, it might come down to one moment. Another shot comes in, this time Zen will clear it away. He follows the ball himself. It's up to that individual play once more with the demo. Dumbo comes in off the corner, centering the ball for Jules, but a great clear away by Justice. Keeps their dreams alive. That's the it. That's going. It's done. Steve, the dunk over the top. He manages it, and that was off a fast defense by Wiss. Zen thought he would take it solo again, which makes him get dunked. And Zen just really underestimated Steve there. Just to see esports, they steal that nicely, and they're equal. Why aren't they working as a team? Come on, order. Put it together. You're about to get beaten, or at least taken to overtime by Justice Esports. After taking a loss to Avant, they could very quickly lose their season right here. That's right. Two series to start off. What a punishing start it would be. One apiece, 40 seconds. Around the goal square, Order need to get out of the defense. Jules enables this, and Dumbo's coming in. A dunk down. Zen steals it away and says right back at you. You can feel the relief from Zen right there. He took the risk. He saw two defenders with potential of making the save, but he just committed. It pays off and order take back the lead. It looks like these intercepts are making the game. 35 seconds. Will we see another from Justice? This bounces towards goal square and Steve wanted to commit. Everyone playing aggressively. Everyone in game one putting on a last Those chance. Those are the kind of players from Steve that catch people off guard. That is the risk we're talking about. He went for the biggest dunk of his lifetime, and if it paid off, they could have just scored a goal. Well, now off the walk, and Steve do it again for Justice. Someone flying through the air. you got to imagine it was Steve Wiss on the defense, but one goal needed. Order not going to give them the time. It's counting down, and everyone's committed for the attack. Can they breach through? Justice doesn't look like they can, and game one will go over to Order. A shaky victory. There were missed opportunities from both sides. But Order hold on by the skin of their teeth. And we have to point out Dumbo. Not only is his score really low there, 
but he's been missing a lot of aerials, a lot of opportunities today. He's a confidence-based player, and his confidence is going to be at an all-time low. And at the moment for Order, they need Dumbo to get to the point where they can make that three-man unit work. Individual play is the name of the game when really it should not be. It definitely is, and especially when you're a team like that that are based normally off fast pass plays, mm. short pass plays. They're not there. They're just having to rely on 50-50s. One of the things that Justice Esports do incredibly well is get great 50-50s and dunks. Yeah. So you're not going to be able to rely on winning those. On that note as well, when Jules comes from a roster that's so reliant on these short pass plays and playing fast, yeah. and especially as a cohesive three-man unit, surprised that with this team, that's not happening. And you see that when Jules does get those opportunities, that backboard right at the start, that is when he is the best. He's probably one of the best, if not the best, backboard finisher in OCE. You'd I'll have to that. say maybe Drippe is better, but when he gets those opportunities, they're great, but he's yep. not getting fed any of them, and he's playing that third man cleanup role right he now. He really is, and at the moment for order, they need more consistency there. Game one only just. Just is putting up a good fight, and comes off the back of Steve again. Yeah, Steve is Steve is just so incredibly fast. He's yeah. such a good mechanical player. He's known as a ranked warrior in OCE. Ah. He's one of the highest ranked players here, and he's never really fit into threes. So when last week he actually moved further back and was more defensive, I was really impressed because that was his problem. Too greedy. Yeah. Now he's letting his teammates do a lot more, and you're seeing a lot more come out of Yeetzi and Wiss. Yeah, and so now into game two, that confidence that was there in game one, they took a stab. I want to see the adaptation. Do we go into a more defensive style? Do we see those cleaner rotations? Or are we still in that aggressive format as we now go into number two? I think we need to see who gets this first goal. It's so crucial for the confidence. Is it just Steve? And Steve just saved out. Right off the bat, Steve punches a hole in the defensive order. It doesn't go through, but this has enabled Justice Esports to come in. That second touch from Wiss may be not needed. It clears it further down the field, but Justice are not done yet. From the corner, Yeetzee's there, but it now will be clear. They're using no one on the backboard for order. No one to make those big defensive clears. And Justice Esports, two awkward touches that almost led to goals. Really, and it's just getting through each and every time. Order finally get a clear away. That breath of fresh air, but Zen unable to get the touch and challenge Yeetzee. The 50-50s keep on coming through from Justice Esports. Comfortability, a miss there, another miss there. And Everyone flying all over the that pitch. That was the payoff for the risk. They went really close, and it was just too aggressive. Justice Esports giving themselves up that opportunity. But the second time in defense now. Justice have been breached, and Order have managed to get the clear. Zen will wait back, and hopefully they can clear it back up. But Justice are unrelenting here, right in front of net. The shots are just not coming through. The difference there, as it now bumps off the backboard. The third player is Wisp, but they do not commit forward. Waiting for Order, and Dumbo with the demo on himself. He might be able to come back, make some work, but Wisp, he's out of boost, so it probably ends there. Look how confident Justice Esports are, going up for everything, intercepting the plays. And now oh no. they've gone too hard, and Dumbo gets the open net. Yeetzee, I think that was him on the backboard. And unfortunate, tries to go up for it. Just doesn't get but the touch. Look at the way that Jules played. He saw that there was only one spot for Steve to go after he jumped. Yep. And this is the, the silver bullet that can get you. When you jump up so early, you're telegraphing exactly where you're going to hit the ball. And it also looks like more calculated play out of order. What we've been waiting to see, what we've been asking for. On the defense, they hold one goal. That's comfortability right there. Jules punches oh, it down no. mid, and no one's in position. Yeetzee, you saw he was underneath that. He had the chance to save, and he just goes too low, trying to bicycle that cool kick that above I the got net. It. Two nil now for Order. It's a big turnaround. Yeah, three minutes left remaining. Order, this is the series that they need to stay good in the league play. Right now, normally that wouldn't be English, but after that loss against Avan, they really want a gooder rise yep. league play. And yeah, they need it to be gooder. But right now, Justice, they'll bring it down this side in the goal square. An opportunity for them. Denied, Order again, punching it up, and Zen is just going to take it himself off this wall. Will be returned as a clip. Jules, a good read there, a necessary touch. Good plays now from Justice Esports, and they're forcing some mistakes out of Order. They just need to hold pressure. So far, Order have been very good at getting the clears out, getting those defensive passes. Yep. And if Justice Esports can hold it there, they will break. Well, 
how long can they keep it there for? Order have managed to clear it once again. A lot more comfortability. The key word there for Order. Two minutes 30 around the midfield. That's a massive clear. Hits the backboard. It's not touched, but a missed touch. It goes the other way. This is not good. Justice has just given over the ball and give a third to Order. That's so harsh. Yeetsy going up for that one and sends it all the way back. There was no way for Wiss to expect it. And Zen was very smart. He let Dumbo continue going. He really trusted his teammate and boosted straight back to the ground so he could finish off that shot. Really nice smart plays again. Keeping order in this series. Well, has led them in this series. 3-0. Game two. Much firmer play out of them. This ball angling towards the net. And Justice, at the moment, struggling to make impact on the map. They push up, but where are the shots? The order trying to get it through. Shouldn't be too much effort. Justice Esports, they lose the clear once again. This one goes towards net. A great save by Steve, but Dumbo ready to flip Baruni down. He won't find the dunk, but again, more pressure exerted by order. Justice just trying to counterattack, but it's a little bit too slow. Very, very much. Very, very slow, I should say. Mm. And Justice Esports, they need to start slowing it down a lot more. Use the time that they have. I think that's what really helped Devan take advantage of Order, is that they used the time that they had available. Oh, but now finally finding one through Order, they're fourth. And it's the individual outplays, coupled with the passing here. And Justice just got forced onto the back foot. It was only Yeetzee left back, and that's very difficult when you had two players bearing down and you one opt opted to go for boost, but you can't make the decision that he's going to be the take one to take the shot. That's right. But Order, now 4-0. And it looks like game number two will be theirs as well. And really not the start to the day they expected, but this is going more like the pattern of, of how they wanted to make their league play one debut. And that's the pass plays that we saw at the beginning of last series. The ones that are going to win them games. 4-0 now for Order. A big turnaround, a big confidence booster. We were worried about them not too long ago. Now they're looking pretty damn good. Yep, so much better. And in the first week, I think a lot of teams were expecting, you know, not individual play, sorry, not individual performances is what I was going to say. We're expecting a lot of team play. We're expecting a lot of teams to find their feet. But as a unit, I think today we've seen a lot of team play, individual play, if my brain works correctly. Nice. You got there. I got there in the end. <laughs> a lot of individual play we have seen today. And, and I think that's not too surprising. It's the first week of league play after a massive OC shuffle where so many players haven't played with each other for too long. Yep. And that means that they lose trust in each other. They don't, they're not quite sure where each other are. So it ends up leading to lots of solo plays. Ends up leading to a game like this where Order just take over Justice Esports. So this ball will land regardless of whether Jules can find one more. Drops, now Order 2-0. Match point against Justice Esports. When you put these two styles up against each other, it ends up being that one single mistake can score, get get you get scored on. Yeah. With Justice Esports there, you know, that Yeetsy touchback, Steve hitting the ball across to Jules, they just compound on top of each other where if you want to win this game, you have to play perfectly for an entire game. You do, you really do. And, and when Order come off a series like that against Avant, you may look at it and say, right, this is definitely winnable, which is true. Yeah. But you look at it and say, Order still have the potential to play at their best, which is what we're seeing. I mean, the, the Order that we saw against Avant, that was Struggleville. Uh, yeah, I sorry, say. we can't, we can't we're, speak we're, today. That's close enough. Do you want to just go? Uh, yeah, no, just we, we'll just take, take a walk. That was a real struggle against Avant, but they're the kind of team that can beat anyone. I could see them, even the way they played in that game, yeah. take games off the Chiefs because they're just going to come out all guns blazing, no matter what, and just put everything into it. And even though it's all eggs in one basket, that can really pay off. I think it can. And, and against a team like Justice, there is that showing of dominance here in game two. Yeah. I want to see Justice from game one. I want to see this, the Steve that I saw at the start of that game as well. Yeah, he was really instrumental in setting Please. up some plays. And I think, I honestly think that one Yeetsy play could have been their downfall. Yep. Because you all of a sudden have Wiss behind him thinking, Yeetsy's going to push this forward. It goes back behind him. And then how do you trust your teammate 
to make the touch. You just need to, but sometimes it's incredibly hard. Bit of a heartbreaker as well. Justice Esports need to recover from that. Game three now, order in a strong, dominating position. Zen again off that crossbar, and Jules says goodnight. Jules has been so good. He's the janitor of order. He's cleaned up every single goal and wiped the floor underneath Yeezy. And he couldn't say that one. He tried, and try as he might. Order, get that first goal off to a commanding start once again in game three. Uh, it's so hard now for Justice Esports. When you get in this position, they just go, go, go. They need to make sure that they don't overcommit. And this is their chance to score a goal over Zen. He Finally. gets it. Steve finishes. And look at the passing play once again, peppering that backboard. Justice Esports take a risk. And it works out. Yeezy got way more power than they expected. It went straight past Jules and Zen was in the back of the net. Not only that, Steve showing his mechanical prowess, reading yeah. that backboard every single time. If we're looking at a star here, I know you were talking about Wisp quite a lot today, but I have been talking about Steve. There's a reason I put him in the fantasy lineup, and that reason is not because I took a risk. It's because I think there's going to be a reward. If anyone is playing RLCS Bingo, <laughs> Another scratch off that list. Yep. Off the left hand wing, Jules will decide to continue forward. Order. We're playing bingo all series long. Keywords I've been looking for is passing. You've been seeing it. Now off that back wall. It's passing, they're not getting out of the field here. This backboard is really where Justice Esports can take advantage. We're saying yep. that Order haven't been up there enough, and Justice are really good at punishing it. They really are. Can they get it back down the field? A massive clear, keeping it high, exactly where they want to be. The pass down is not a defensive clear to come through. Dumbo coming in in defense, and there was a close call, but here comes the clear. Zen doesn't hit it open. It was an open net, but at least he recovers it. And he, he got that bump. Dumbo just chasing in that midfield, ends up in the same line as the defender. Look at Yeetzi go flying. Good recovery from Zen as well. Yeah. And that was all off a backboard touch that was too low, and Jules getting allowed to clear that. It's like order feeling, thinking one step ahead. Justice Esports getting caught out with, as Korea likes to say, their pants down. He says that a lot, actually. Justice Esports now in front of that backboard. This is an opportunity that drops there. That was the goal, Yeetzi. But again, unfortunate. That seems to be the separator for this or team compared to the others. Steve They're again. not able to finish it off. And Justice Esports into a corner they go. Ample opportunities to score here. And the execution part is just not coming through. Come on, they're doing so much work to set up these plays. Just need to get something on target. They need to work on their striking or they are going to lose this Series 3-0. Well, Zen's tried to clear it. There's a the demolition. What does this open up? Nothing because the clear comes in response. The backboard not even taken and a two versus three for a part-time ends up being orders clear and orders advantage. The pass to Jules is fantastic and Dumbo nails it in. Brilliant play and they drained all of the boosts from Justice Esports with the previous counter-attack no way they could get there in time. Wiss just behind it, but 3-1 now for order. It looks like the Justice team is failing and the villains are taking it away. 3-1, game three, and order taking back control and making sure that this series stays theirs. Still two and a half minutes remaining. It is a high scoring affair. And at any point in time, Justice can just start sinking in nets. And this looks like it could be the first, but it gets cleared away from Dumbo. I think it was a bit wide as well, didn't see the savior. So, Justice having ample opportunities once again. The clears there, Yeetzi up for the ball. Trying to get it as far away as possible. Get back on that attack. But Order denying that ever so often. As Wisp gets that clear, Dumbo's here, patiently so. The 50-50, the challenge is not working out. The second one does though. They keep it down here and Justice Esports opportunities need to start happening now. Two minutes remaining. Game three not looking as good. Passes could be there for order, but at the moment they don't really need to commit up to that. They're holding the pressure and opportunity again. Yeetzee's been so strong in that defense. He'll wait for the ball patiently, so Zen trying to take it himself. Jules comes in red hot. Two members all the way at the front. Yeetzee counterattack now off that back wall. Denied by Jules. Great defense and a great mispositioning there. Also repositioning from order. I feel like if that was someone like Drippe, they would have gone for that double touch. 
Yeetzy needs to start stepping up and just trying to take those risks. Well, they finally get the ball through. Is this Yeetzy carrying the ball? No, it is not my eyes to save me. Yeetzy goes past the ball. Wits this time. Wits this time, excuse me. We'll clear it out. Running down the field. They get it through one. Just as Esports coming so close from the corner now. A great position once again, but just denied Jules. Brick wall in front of that net. It was so important to get that clear as well. Just as Esports looked like they were going to set up the pressure, but they still haven't really maintained a single pressure play the entire game. They haven't, and they've run out of time, or at least running out of the need to start making things happen. 20 seconds for each goal, 40 remain. Yeetzy off the roof, this is where it begins. Can he get it? He does! And finally, realistically, we can look at Justice Esports. Brilliant play from Yeetzy, all by himself and off the roof, gets underneath it, gets the flick up, Beats the one defender left, 3-2, and Justice Esports have a chance to come back. We've got one scoop, we're looking for another. We paid for a double. And 35 seconds remaining. Yummy what flavor? Chocolate, of course. 30 seconds, and Justice Esports on the defense. The bounce off that backboard now gives them momentum. This is in, that's done, and that's what momentum is. They tied up the game. Look at this play by Steve. That clear off the backboard, no one could expect it, except for his teammate Wiss. Surprise, surprise, Justice Esports. And now alive, three all. Game three is not over yet, 25 seconds. Next goal wins. No way, this is Justice Esports. They've tied it up again, and they're looking to try and make the most difficult reverse sweep that they could possibly do. Against a team that are three professionals or three experienced members. Just as for the professionals now, but they're three rookies coming into the OC Championship in front of Dan. Zen himself, but a good save by Yeetzy. He read the play. Smart play, patient play. They didn't go over the top. Zen looked to push to squeeze it underneath. And now we have overtime for Justice Esports to try and stay in this series. Well, they've started out on the attack, the best start you can hope for, but the rebound from Order sets them down the other side of the field. In a great position themselves, Jules has not taken the shot. He wanted to play it slow, and Justice Esports survive another day, but for how long? Two members up, one going forward. The play from Yeetzy as they clear to the other side, and Melbourne Order now on the defense. It's getting close, and I think Justice Esports, they scored the last two goals they can score the next one it's order to slow this one down well in the defense so not a good position yummy cheese man steve with the rebound they're heading towards net for jules an easy clear away he'll get the second touch and yeetzy just here to stay he's out of boost though and so is steve now let's see what happens from here that was such an important 50 you said they were both out of boost if wis didn't get that stop it could have been a very quick goal Looks like we're going to have a much longer overtime. And they wouldn't want to go down here a minute into overtime now. Zen hangs back, Jules as well. You can see how defensive both teams are playing, but Jules taking the risk, the individual play, no one there to finish it up. Zen will go up for the ball. There's no dunk, but Dumbo's coming in. A crucial hit, hits the crossbar, back out it goes. Jules brings it to the backboard. The third member, Zen, does not come in. And now the counter-attack. Justice Esports used the pace of that ball, but Zen with the clear. Devastating for Jules. You could normally finish those off that was so close from Yeetzee we're seeing some big plays come out from him and I think it has to be a solo goal to end the game well Justice Esports are in the position to do so 145 overtime continues Yeetzee bounces the ball Jules with the clear Steve up for it in the midfield now they have to do something with it because he's out of boost Justice patient play but we're two minutes into overtime. Two minutes, and they're just trying to bring back their run. Order to hold in. Justice to cause the massive upset. Last chance here. Good defense. And still just holding out. I'm expecting this to continue on for quite a while. Two members committed to the defense there for Justice Esports. Yummy Cheese Man's buckled in, and I've just taken my seatbelt off. I'm ready for the ride. Order wanted to finish the ball there. He saw the commit forward. Jules has now lobbed it again. But defense, almost sloppy. Wiss manages to save the day. A little bit too little respect from Wiss. Not thinking that Jules would challenge that. And confidence, but uh, could be the killer. Well, the demo will slow the play down once again. So we're at square one. But the passing play, look at this. Jules sends it mile high. But just as eSports 
They got their frequent fly points ready. Zen ready to deny that plane. Again, we go over to the defense of Justice Esports. Jules is there, a clear necessary, and Justice Esports provide. They just cleared it straight down the runway to give themselves more opportunities. It's back and forth, counterattack versus counterattack. One opportunity versus one opportunity, and it's up to who can open up the net first. Well, Zen seems to be in a position, but again, he's run out of boost, so it's ipso facto. And the facto now back on that attack. Staying around the midfield order, finally get it through. This is an opportunity for Zen. He goes up for the ball. Jules hanging back. The solo play not going to come through. Jules tries to manage it himself, but one member, that's Yeetzee, will help clear the ball away. Zen doesn't get the touch. Dumbo necessary here because they've pushed up. Jules now getting back in position, but he's missed the ball. Zen back in time. The slow roll in comes in anyway, and it's Scuba Steve once again. Steve finishes it off. He just pile drive it into the net and it was all off that mistake from Jules an unfortunate situation drove straight past it but that's when the nerves get to you the hardest this is what it's all about this is why we play this is why we laugh this is why we cast I don't know what laugh had to do with it but Justice Esports they take a game off Vorder and now the pressure's on and we spoke about Steve being so instrumental and he's doing exactly what he needs to do finish off the goals when they come, get those assists, get those midfield plays. And he's playing that really well. Wiss and Yeetzee playing a lot around him yeah. and getting involved. But now finally enabled on the map. Like mm. it's, it's like Justice Esports had a wake up call in the last 30 seconds of that game. There's no harder reverse sweep than needing to Bring back a 3-1, mm. go into overtime, take that win, and still need to win and two more games. Only just. There were so many times Order had the shot on net, and Justice managed to defend, committing everything there. What's important is that Justice are now feeling like they're using their opportunities a bit more. Earlier on in the series, they were missing those nets. They set up some great plays, but couldn't finish it. It was much like Order were doing, but now... Justice are able to finish. And in my opinion, I feel like Justice Esports now a little bit less pressure due to Order being in a more difficult position. Yes, they have match point, but the pressure is on when they could not close it out in game three when they had such a lead. Justice now, that confidence motivates. Something that happened to Dumbo last year, season a lot oh, no. was that they would get that two game lead yeah. and they'd be like, okay, well, we can win from here. We're comfortable. Let's let's change our play style and move further back and just play it safer. Yep. It's not how you play. You play regularly. You just try and win. Same way you've been playing to get to that point. Yeah, and now I don't think this is a nerve-wracking situation. They're, still, they're still on match point. But if you lose this game, then that's when all of a sudden everything floods you. Like, oh my God, we were two games in the lead. That's right. And now we're on the verge of losing. And you said it before as well. The pressure comes through from the previous series for yep. order against Avant Gaming. If they cannot win this series, then suddenly you look back at this and this could be the defining moment that doesn't get them into finals, that does not give them the chance at RLCS. Realistically, realistically if you lose to both Avant and Justice, you're not going to make it into the top four. You have to basically start winning every other series, and that includes the Chiefs, that includes Tainted Minds, that includes twice. Legacy. Yep. You, you got to win this series. And it's an important match for Order. Already off the bat, League Player 1, we've got a spicy one for you. But they've still got two match points left remaining. And as we go into this next game, the thoughts are on Steve. And I guess uh, now we're seeing more of Wiss and Yeetzee kind yeah. of feel the shoes as well. And Wiss has had a lot of good saves in that, that overtime he especially. He was crucial to staying back. And what was good is that he went further back. And he got a little bit nervous, I guess, about that. But at the same time, Yeetzee and Steve were still playing really aggressively yeah. at the same time. So it didn't remove their chance to get pressure. On the other side, Order, they only ever sent one person forward. They were constantly being behind the attacker, waiting to see what would happen, and never Zen. going for a risky pass play. That's right, so Order, it comes into a fresh game, a bit of a fresh start. Let's see what they can do. Game four, and Justice Esports, the reverse sweep begins. Let's see if it's a reality, or maybe just a dream as Order try to close it out. A chance now, and the kickoffs always seem to go to Justice, but this time, Order, Playing the best kickoff. Well, Steve comes around the corner. Still control after said kickoff. Justice trying to launch it down into that goal square, but this is a great clear from Order. They're trying to do something with it. Dumbo, he's run out of boost, but he's already popped it down. Zen and Jules know that this is enough. But a cautious play so far. Justice 
bit more control of the ball in this fourth game. Water didn't really want to commit to that, even though Dumbo is going for the double. Set off that back wall. Now can we get something else? Dumbo there, but Jules trying to finish it off. A save from Steve. But that's a triple commit. They've got the opportunity, and that's a smart touch into the corner by Yeetzi. Well, Zen won't get through it. Can't get past that said smart touch, and Wiss now follows the ball up the field. He's run out of boost, but it's still Justice's ball. Yeetzi the pass. Steve there as well, playing with that backboard. Looks like they'll keep it down here for a bit. This is good. This is the final pressure. But you can see Steve going so far back there is not, nine times out of ten going to release the pressure. He won the challenge again, though. This gives Yeetzee the ball. Back in front of that net. In comes Wiss. And might enable a second touch from Steve. He'll launch it towards net. And can anyone save it? Hits the crossbar. Back in. Yeetzee set it up for Wiss. And... Justice Esports, more shots in way. 40 seconds of pressure now for Justice Esports, the first of the series. This is a different attack, and look at Order scrambling to get into net. I mean, Zen playing it slow in front of net. Justice Esports just hit like a truck, but look at that clear. The backboard, Yeetzee pops it. Steve's there. This looks like a passing play, but it's too far too forward. Or is it, as the shot goes wide? Justice is starting to switch on. Those clears that come out, they can turn it on a dime, and that's what it makes it dangerous for Order to commit to the attack. Well, Order now finally on that attack, but three minutes left remaining. They're going to commit a little heavier to it. Dumbo off that wall. And again, Zen swings by, but Jules hanging around the midfield. No touch there from Justice Esports. Left for a while. Jules going backwards for a bit. But after that demo, this is going to open things up, but Order still play with the ball as Jules himself Dumbo's respawned, but Zen was already there. Now it's order time to shine. Good chance setting up for Jules, and that is oh. just going to go wide, but they maintain the attack. They need to keep this forward, but finally they get it out, and that's going to give Justice time to grab the it boost. It was Dumbo again. Yeetzee, the slow play up the other side of the field. Steve has gone up as well, and Wiss needs to touch this ball, but he doesn't. Yeetzee helps out his teammate, gets some semblance of a clear. Two minutes, 15 remaining. Wiss up the ball. Off that backboard, doesn't find it. Cleared away again. Dumbo doesn't receive the ball. And this time there's an opportunity. Yeats, great pass, but cannot be saved. And Justice Esports, there they go. They might just be doing it. Justice Esports taking him down, getting the revenge as well, because Order took down Justice Esports in the group stage. Yeah. 1-0 now for Justice Esports and looking to make that reverse. It seems swift. Two minutes remaining, a lead by Justice. Everyone's up. Jules has to get this ball up and continues skyrocketing it. Zen will pop it himself. Justice still in front of net. Everyone playing defensive. Yeetzee's there. They just want to hold on to this lead. But Order in a difficult position in game four. Still trying to get the ball right to the back of net. Zen can't score. Dumbo sends it outward. Looks like that's it. Plenty of opportunities for Order to pass there. Five times in a row, they just took the shot at net. Again from Dumbo. Just looking to hit the ball straight at the net. And just as Esports are good at just defending a shot. That was a touch from Zen that maybe went to Jules, but works out in the end anyway. Justice Esports pushing back upfield. A minute 15 and time is running out, but nothing's really happening. A save there by Yeetzee. I think it was a small pinch, but it works out in the end. Easy from this wing. Jules can't get anything done with it. Justice are just pushing towards Order's net. And with such a lead, with such control, it could go to game five. There was a deny there by Dumbo with the save, but it's not done yet. Off that back wall, Justice Esports want to look at the potential of knocking out Order. And this is how they start. 50 seconds left and Order are looking down the barrel of the end of their season right at the start. 40 seconds, Dumbo coming in, but won't commit to the ball. 35, Zen's here. The bouncer means absolutely nothing. The pass back order, get through, and finally, Dumbo sinks it in. Zen passes it out. I'll repeat that, he passes it out. And that is what allowed them finally to get an open net, just as Esports struggling to get back. And it's a tight game once again. Now, 29 seconds. Will it be the same or will I fall down a hole? I almost fell down in the floor. We'll find out next time. 25, this comes in off the roof. And Justice now in a difficult position. Jules off that back wall. And Dumbo hasn't come in yet. Look at the control. Zen wants to take the solo play. He's just dribbling with the ball. Freestyling on the ground. 
And Dumbo now off that back wall. The touch is there. Great save. Jules comes in for the shot. Zen, the final one. Order are just in front of this net. They want to seal the game here, but it looks like overtime is where we're destined to go. Backed off right at the end. They didn't want to get scored on as well. And just as eSports are favoured in this overtime, they play it more confidently. They play for the passes. And if Order do the same as they did in the last game, they won't be able to score. We said they're a team with potential that Justice Esports three rookies could overturn some of these big teams. And this is where it begins. League play one already heating up. Yeetzi, this is a drop down, but Dumbo denies with the clear. Steve from the midfield, the pass is mid. And again, setting up Justice Esports have been intercepted though. And order beginning their attack. Beautiful touch to hit the roof. And Zen was looking for the pass, but again, Dumbo just staying back, playing it risk-free, giving up their goal opportunity. Just as Esports, a team that qualified in the play-ins, going up against Order, a favourite to many. 45 seconds on the defence now. Justice, Dumbo's here. The touch, great block there. And the defence from Justice stepping up in a big way. Big chances for Justice Esports. They took down Legacy in the group stages. They could take down Order here in league play. They just need to get this goal to get them in the final game. Yeetzee will dribble it down the midfield. It ends up going to Steve towards goal, but it's wide. Steve had an opportunity. The shot there, also wide. See how panicked Order is. They both, Zen and Dumbo, just jumping for it. Zen just jumping again. Oh, no. And it's forcing them out of defense. Wiss was able to save that ball, however, in order, although they are out of defense right now, they're pushed immediately back on it. Justice Esports, a minute 30 into overtime. This is not good whatsoever, but order, don't get the second touch. It's Jules, it's the touch is there, and they've done it. Game number five, bring it on. A crucial mistake gets completely punished. Wiss over to Yeet. See, Steve was not needed, but he'll take it anyway. He wanted the goal. He wanted to give me the fantasy points. And they've done it. Jules just hesitated. What is he doing? He's a fast player. He went for the challenge and went, oh no, they might hit it behind me. And just backed off. It opened up the net. And as we said, Justice can play those overtimes so confidently. Yeah. It's now two apiece. At a two-game deficit at Three and one in game three. Justice Esports are now on match point themselves for the first time this series. And look at that. Ten shots coming out from order to six from Justice. And the reason that was, wasn't because of some kind of crazy pressure. Every single time order get the ball, they're just hitting it at the net. Yeah. They're not finding those cross fields. They're not getting those short passes. They're not even hitting the roof and down or the backboard. And just as esports just say, oh, thanks for the free pass to on us. that On that note as well, although it was stat padding for Wiss, I think there were a couple of crucial saves that came out of Justice that changed the game. And I'll look at Wiss because second or third save you medal in a row. Yeah, he's just constantly there, ready to take the, save the shot. And because the shots are just coming in, he knows what's going to happen. It makes it so much easier to predict. Mm. He's never caught off guard. And this is how we see the growth of our players. Game number five, three rookies who really haven't made into the OC Championship before. They've barely None even of them have. played top eight teams That's before. That's right. They've been out of the you, bubble. They've been out of the top eight bubble. You don't say that. You don't say, oh, okay, yeah, this team that haven't played against the top four, haven't really played against the top eight. They're going to do well, but they are doing fantastically. And you look at Justice Esports and how they've started. At least the organization as well, based in Rocket League, the investment is there. And right now for Justice Esports, can they invest further? Game five, here we go. Order already on the defense. And Justice, that first goal, could readily seal the deal. It's wide, or at least it looked like it. Yeetzee will have the shot, Dumbo with the save, but Steve's still there. The first goal, and Justice, it's straight under Scuba Steve. 20 seconds is what the pressure was. Wiss getting that touch out behind and just beating out the flailing defense. Water in so much trouble here. Mr. Cheese Man said it himself. This could be bad. I think that is it. You get to game five after being so confident. <laughs> Speaking of confidence, Never mind. May, maybe I shouldn't be so confident. That's all right, I walked you, get, you into that. I was going to say, when you get that first goal scored against you in this situation, that is when red alert happens. But luckily for them, they get the kickoff. But goal. look, for, for order, I think they've, they've had a lead in previous games and they haven't done anything with it. So, one apiece. Right now, 
Things are tight. Order still in a difficult position. Looking to pounce and just as he spots. It really feel like of the two teams, they're the team that can score at any time. Absolutely. Justice now finally getting the push down. This enables the, the goal to be scored. One minute has passed. And after that backboard, now ready for Justice to nail it through. Steve playing defensively, but his rotations are what made him so clean so far. And it's what enabled him to score so many goals in this series. After one minute passing, it doesn't look like either team is having rapid success of control. Very scrappy, but ends up working out for both of them because they're just putting on tons of pressure, forcing touches out like that, forcing dunks. But it has to give at some point. Well, order right in front of that goal square. Two members commit forward. Zen in the defense. Who's there? He'll get the save eventually. Yeti was coming in red hot. But Auto managed to survive. 3.30, Zen now the solo play. Defense getting easily read, but here comes the next one off the backboard. It's down. It's three members of Justice, and they managed to save the day. Order, I mean, Order, Jules was finishing off all of those backboards earlier in the day. Now he's not finishing it. Dumbo was not finishing it. That could come to haunt them again. Definitely could for Justice Esports. Feeling confident though on the defense, that clear will go all the way back to Zen. That's not a good touch from Zen. Yeetsy's following it through. He gets a better one. Jules doesn't get there, and Wiss has just brought it up. Justice again, these challenges winning them the ball. Such good spacing from Wiss. He was just far enough back that he knew that he was going to win that touch. That's done wonders for the attack, but finally the clear comes from Dumbo. From the corner though, I'm not sure it's the greatest touch. There's the pass though, finally, Jules from the backboard. Who is finishing it? Dumbo doesn't go up for the ball. A bit of collision course in the midfield, but this is just gonna work for Justice. Off that backboard, the pinch goes up. Steve's coming in as well. Jules, don't think he has the boost to get there. The pass is good. Steve, it goes wide. He's so fast, he actually beat the defender to the ball out. Didn't expect it. Did have to rush, and that's why he went wide. So a close call, all the same though, from the corner. Steve goes up for the ball. Yeetsy getting back in defense, a big clear, a good save, and precise from Yeetsy, but it's not over yet. Sends up for the ball, and order, take the lead. So difficult, they clear all the way up the guts, but this follow-up touch by Dumbo, just to get that into center as quick as possible, and catching Wiss off guard, because it didn't roll around the corner, it went out. Now for order, comfortable position. I wouldn't call this comfortable. More comfortable than being one all. <laughs> yes, 2-1, but we've seen Justice Esports come back from anything. That's right. Chance to score plenty of goals for two minutes remaining. Great pass from Yeti. where's the third? Yeti gonna take it himself, but the defense there strong from Zen. Order holding on for now, minute 45. Now the big bump away, this enables the push down and Jules, the only defender as Zen rotates back. Justice Esports, a good position, good bump there. Zen is out of the way. Yeetsy now waiting for him to rotate back, but might be a little bit too late. Steve, Wiss, trying to push the ball back downfield. We saw a little bit of the difference of experience right there. With When Yeetsy was back, he just hit the ball up and away from himself. But Jules was able to keep the ball, keep control, and make sure that his teammates were able to get back. But look at Justice Esports, though. They're positioning there, staying in the midfield, denying these clears as much as possible. Zen goes up for the ball, and another goal from Order would most likely seal the deal. But Justice Esports not going down without a fight. And at this point, they're not going down. 55 seconds, they've done it before. Jules following through. He's found his confidence now. Oh, and what, a, what bump. a bump. But what a read by Steve as well. Still having a fantastic series. In order of putting on the pepper once again, Dumbo comes in, keeping it down this side of the field. They feel confident. 40 but seconds left for the dream, and that is Justice Esports to take down Order or for Order to stay in this season. And really, what a big matchup straight off the bat. The securing goal doesn't come through. 30 seconds, a clear, turns into a pass. No it's way. Steve, it's Yeetsy, Justice again. Zen will get the clear. That could have been the moment. There was just one last opportunity, and just oh. like that, it was all given up. 10 seconds, Yummy Cheese, man. Justice Esports. Their defense holds strong, but it might not be enough. One big long field play, a great pass, but Dumbo denies it and says, no boys, go home, we'll take the series. For Dumbo to step up at the end of this series to be the captain that they needed right at the end, so 
crucial. And finally, order. They're going to be feeling so bad only about themselves, just. but they only just get through just as esports put them to the absolute limit. I mean, Jules and Zen were out of there like that. They were like having none of this. 3 <laughs> 2 is probably not what you'd expect, Jake. I don't understand order. They're yeah. so, like, you look at their <laughs> mentality and you see them and they're playing well, and then they just suddenly stop playing well, yeah. and you're like, what happened? Are you calling them dumb? No. How that's you. <laughs> that's you. You're the top. You're calling me him. dumb. No, but in all in all fairness, that was not Melbourne Order that were coming. I'm sorry, that was not Order. I mean, they are from Melbourne <laughs> that we're expecting to see in the OC Championship, and straight off the bat from week one. Yeah, that that loss to Avant really, mm. I thought would rattle them more. They started this series very strong, and mm. then I don't know. I'm hoping they can really fix what problem they had because. Yeah. I, I don't know. Yeah, it happened in both series as well, where they just yep. stopped passing. Okay. And they stopped like hitting those big backboards, getting those cross fields, and playing to their strengths. Yeah, a gameplay thing actually was they really lost their clinical finish mm -hmm. towards the end. Yeah. They were just they just kept backboarding. It's like take yeah. the shot and they just backboard and someone wouldn't be. I ready don't even for think it. they were intentional backboards. Yeah, they okay, true, true. You saw Jules on that last one where he's like oh, I'm about to backboard this again, and I'm the third man. Yep. And so he jumped over the top, and it just, like, soggily falls. But on that note, because I, I want to talk about Justice Esports, because yeah, I think, for them, this was a better performance than they're probably expecting. The sad thing about Justice Esports here is mm. everything revolves around how confident Yeetie is feeling. Yeah. Yeetie played awfully the first two games. There's no sugarcoating it. <laughs> yeah. He looked so unconfident. That ceiling shot really brought him back into it. And true to Game 5, Justice looked like a complete different team after that. And then yeah. Order really did pick it up in that Game see, 5. I, I see it a little bit more two-dimensionally because from what my eyes see, I just see Steve, 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 Steve. And then towards the end of the game, I saw Wiz. No, no, no. Nah. Wiz, Wiz, Wiz was amazing the whole series. Right, that well. kid, he's 15 and he was so solid. I didn't see him oh, miss the right. ball once. He's yeah, a prodigy. Yeah. Wiz, yeah. Wiz is really good and he was huge in the play-ins. He was huge today as yep. well. And really, this showing from Justice Esports shows that they can do more than a team that just came out of the play-ins. I'm excited to see more of them. Yep. I think, again, if Yeetie can just be more confident and they can channel that, it was really promising today. Do you think you see that performance against a team like the Chiefs, though? Like, because uh, we saw potential today. I mean, we're, we're talking about the Chiefs here. Everyone loses to the Chiefs. That's just how it goes. Or at least you're honest this season. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to have a short break when we return. A more honesty coming up on the desk. Our very last game, Tainted Minds and Chimpwits jump on the pitch.